Hi everyone, a very warm welcome to my channel Booked Line and Sinker. It's been a while since I last posted and the main reason behind that absence is a lot of self-doubt and unsurety as to where this channel was headed and whether my reviews were good enough or not and purely a sort of self-imposed pressure, a performance pressure um, on making this channel a success. Well, I've tried to put that behind me now. Uh, it's taken me some time and I've decided to revive this channel because I, I never stopped reading. I still do love reading. And during this interim period, I have still been reading books. Um, I still continue to read. And uh, the thought behind the channel was just to share and just I'm trying to give more impetus to that thought, more, more power to that thought. And I'm, I'm back here with you uh, to talk about the latest book that I have read um, in recent times. Well, so here it is, the last book that I just finished. It's called Clarity and Connection by Young Pueblo. Young Pueblo? Pueblo? Young Pueblo? Okay, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but um, I was looking for a light read which had somewhat of a spiritual connection with me because I actually really enjoy reading books which are spiritual in nature. Um, Clarity and Connection actually is so easy to read. You can literally keep it by your bedside and it has small, small excerpts and thoughts on um, different subjects of life. Okay, for example, it has um, chapters on self-awareness, unbinding, the love between us, growing a new life. Um, and he has a very easy way of uh, writing. Uh, for example, I'll read out one small thought, um, which is on page 58. It says, ask yourself, is the connection real if there is no space to be vulnerable? That's it. These are the two lines there are. So how I read this was over a span of about two months, where I would turn to it, read a few lines, mull on it, and then uh, come back to the next one. Or I would sit and meditate on any one of the lines which I felt was really resonating with me at that particular day or time. Uh, it's one of those books that you can go back to repeatedly because you tend to forget uh, these kind of small, small reminders on self-awareness, on what should love mean, uh, on how to be vulnerable to people, to how to how to grow as an as an individual so all of these uh, thoughts are quite interesting um, I'll read one more to you for um, you know just a thought reclaiming your power is noticing when a story based on assumptions is making your mind tense and intentionally bringing yourself back to the present moment as a way to cut the delusion so interesting. And I've written underneath, I made little notes underneath it, reread every day. So this is something which I can remind myself regularly. So um, I don't really put post-its as reminders. A lot of people use colored post-its, etc., to remind themselves that they find something very interesting in a book. Sorry, I'm holding it the other way around. But um, I definitely fold, which might not be the best way, but I do make notes if I find it very interesting. This still sits on my bedside and I still refer to it fairly regularly uh, because I find it uh, as a reminder, a constant reminder of um, how to be mindful when uh, you might, you know, be distracted by things in your life which are overwhelming. So a superb, great book, uh, Clarity and Connection on, you know, mindful living. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short review. I will be posting more uh, often and I do hope to reconnect with all of you on a regular basis. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please do uh, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.